So I'm making a Turkish kebab. Turkish cuisine is not underrated. Everybody knows Turkish cuisine is very nice, but it's not given enough credit. It's not, it's not treated with the respect it should in Western cuisine. It heavily influences Australian cuisine because it's what we uh, go to straight away in takeaway joints, whether it's Euros or uh, a Turkish kebab shop or a wrap shop like La Rap, whatever it is, even if it's a shawarma, the Lebanese uh, wrap, it doesn't matter what it is, generally speaking, it derived from around that geo location, that geographic vicinity. And uh, it's healthy, properly made Turkish food is as healthy as healthy gets. When I used to be at full fitness, I lived on Turkish food. I lived on kebab, not the greasy kebabs. I lived pretty much on uh, the chicken shish. Chicken shish or lamb shish. They are as fucking healthy as you can get. And I, I make... Uh, Turkish food at home a lot, not a wide variety, but you know time constraints. You can't always make food when I'm out and about, and I need food. When I'm in dieting mode, to, you can't go past Turkish cuisine. You know the tomatoes uh, and uh, onions and the walnut chili and the little things they do. That's what they have in Sydney. And uh, the le- you know the, the marinated lamb, marinated chicken. It's when it's done properly, fuck. It's as healthy as healthy gets. It's good food, but you can make it at home if you, you want. Since you're gonna make food at home anyway, so I'm gonna quickly whip this up. So let's get let's get started. I'll try to actually no, I won't try to keep quiet. So we'll see how long I can get this done in from scratch. fry pan on medium heat. It's ready to go. What are we going to do? Quick marinade. Oil. A little bit of vinegar. Ginger. Desirably, I should have pepper, not just salt. I'll try and find the pepper. A little bit of garlic. Thank you. 
wheel it around. What does it smell like? Oh yeah, perfect. Nice marinade. So I've got half tomato here for my last meal. Thin pools. Desirably, I like cutting tomatoes with a serrated knife. So I'm going to put that in this bowl. And just put a little bit of the marinade in this. Not all of it. And as it sits, that's enough. I don't need to put it somewhere for hours or anything like that. Same thing, thin pulls. You're not brunoir, brunoiring the onions, just thin slices. That's enough. Again, a little bit of the marinade that I quickly whipped up. And you just go over to the top of it with the lemon. With the lettuce, it's already washed. Just a very simple chiffonade. So, roll the lettuce. Perfect. Chiffonade. Put that in there. Drizzle whatever's left of this. I don't want it to sit in it. I just want it to cover it. So the excess droops into the plate. Again, go over it with the lemon. So there, that's tomato, onion, and lettuce done. We're gonna have two slices of cheese. You 
don't usually have the mushroom, but you can. Do not marinate the mushroom. This is shiitake, I believe. Six, seven mushrooms. I don't think I need that much. Maybe less than half. Chili. No way I can have a kebab without chili. Okay. Now, the beef. Hmm, how can I do this? I'm definitely not going to need that much meat for the kebab, but I'll cook it all anyway, so I've got some for later. That way, I cook this with the mushroom, because that mushroom needs to be cooked. That's why you do not marinate it. So, fat off. That is fat, tri trim the fat. You don't need that much fat. A little bit of fat's not bad, but... You want it to be as lean as possible. That's good enough. So, how are we going to do this?
because I've cut them in thin strips, it shouldn't take long at all to fry this off with the mushrooms, two minutes or three minutes at most. So at the, once I've put that into the pan, I can toast the bread. This is bad bread. Fuck, that is bad Turkish bread. They've molested the fucking best bread ever. Turkish bread. Yeah. I've got more bread, I'm lucky. This is a proper Turkish bread. Ready to be toasted. Perfect. See that meat is almost done. Oh, this is a horrible abandoned house I've got. I don't have the fucking sh stuff I need to take off all the grime on this stove top. Now it's just waiting. This is the 
meat is still red. Almost done. Scraping out all the juice from the meat. I don't want to cook it in that. I want that out. That's out. Perfect. Almost done. And that bread almost done. Sweet. Meat done. Meat off. Toasted perfectly. Oh, perfect. That's textbook. Not burnt in any way, but crusty. Cheese on the bottom. Now, what we should do here is put the meat here. You don't put the, uh, the marinated onion, lettuce, and tomato here. Otherwise, the meat will drop on it and ruin it. You want the meat on this. So that's lean beef. That's very good quality beef. That's perfect. Then, the garlic sauce goes on this. Make sure you get this in the right sequence. This is more important than you can think You'd probably put a little bit more than half of that. I love garlic. If you're smooching somebody, you don't want to eat that much garlic. But I'm all good. 
chili on top of that to act as a barrier to the next lot because this is not marinade, marinated. Then the onions next. Then the tomato. Remember, don't make sure you leave the marinade in there. So sort of scrunch, scrunch it a little, because you don't want all that marinade to go onto the actual sandwich or kebab. This is a Turkish kebab, so, so this is technically a kebab, a traditional Turkish kebab on Turkish bread. Then the lettuce is last. Definitely scrunch just a little. Oh, that's perfect chiffonade. That's perfect. So this is restaurant quality Turkish kebab. Absolutely. I'm looking at it now, and that's, there's absolutely no doubt, this is restaurant quality Turkish kebab. You can cut it however you like. Cut it on a diagonal onto the plate. Done. Traditional Turkish kebab. How good is that? Only took me 27 minutes, and that's me being slow. Seven minutes less, and I'm at a high end standard.